Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important problem from uh, three-dimensional geometry, right? So here uh, we are going to find out the equation of a plane passing through three non-collinear points, right? Uh, viewers, we have already discussed this topic in detail in our earlier videos and here uh, just for the sake of some learners, uh, we can solve a particular problem. Right? So here we have to find the equation of a plane passing through these three points that is 2, 1, 0, 5, 0, 1, 4, 1, 1. Right? So let us denote these three points by the letters A, B and C. Right? And uh, we know that uh, a unique plane passes through uh, three non-collinear points. Right? So let us take a rough diagram here. Suppose this is the plane whose equation is to be obtained and here we have these three points uh, A, B and C, right? And these three points are uh, non-collinear, right? So non-collinear points are those points which do not uh, lie uh, on the same straight line, right? So here uh, what we will do, uh, we'll uh, make use of the result uh, that is uh, the equation of a plane the equation of a plane uh, which passes through some point say x1 y1 z1 is given by uh, a x minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 right so this is the equation of any plane passing through a point x1, y1, z1, right? And uh, uh, we already know that the general equation or the general Cartesian equation of a plane is given by uh, ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0, right? Where a, b, c, uh, these uh, uh, coefficients a, b, c, are the uh, direction ratios of the uh, normal to the plane, right? So now viewers, uh, here uh, we are using the, uh, or we are denoting the points, uh, these three points by A, B, C, and here also we are uh, using the same notation. So let us change these uh, points, the name of these points. So we can say that uh, we can denote them by P, Q, and R. Right, so this is P, Q, and R. Okay, so now we have these three uh, non collinear points, and we have to find the equation of the plane passing through these three non collinear points. And we know that the general equation of a plane is given by ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0, right? Where a, b, c are the uh, drs of the normal right drs of the normal and the normal uh, to the plane uh, may be uh, denoted like this so this is the normal uh, vector uh, which is uh, perpendicular to this plane right so now here uh, we can take x1 y1 z1 as 2 comma 1 comma 0 right so if we take this point as 2 1 0 and here we can substitute it so we'll have a x minus 2 plus b y minus 1 and c z minus 0 right so now uh, we can denote this equation by 1 this by 2 right okay now this equation again passes through this point that is 5 0 1 right so uh, this equation 2 it passes through 5 1 0 or it satisfies this uh, uh, point 5 0 1 so here we can substitute x is 5 y is 0 and z is 1 right so we have a then we have 5 minus 2 then we have b 0 minus 1 and then we have c 1 minus 0 is equal to 0 right and if we simplify it we'll get 3a plus uh, here we'll have minus b and then we have plus c is equal to 0 so this is equation number 3 
right okay so now uh, we are left with this point we have used this point to get this equation we have used this point to get this equation now we have this point 411 now again uh, this equation 2 it passes through 411 right 411 so this point will also satisfy this equation so we'll get uh, uh, a 4 minus 2 plus b we have here y y is 1 1 minus 1 then we have c and we have 1 minus 0 is equal to 0 right so now this is 4 minus 2 2 so this is 2a uh, this uh, term disappears here because 1 minus 1 is 0 and here we have a c right so we can now take this equation as equation number 4 right so viewers, uh, what we have done here uh, we have the equation of a plane uh, which is uh, passing through some point x1 y1 z1 is given by this equation this is a very important equation right and uh, in this equation we have first substituted this point to get this equation then we have substituted this point in this equation we have got this equation and then uh, we substituted this point in this equation to get this equation right so our ultimate aim is to uh, frame two equations our aim is to frame two equations in a b and c right and this is the first one and this is the second one right here we can also solve this problem by uh, the concept of determinants directly but here uh, we are approaching like this in order to uh, get the complete uh, concept of uh, how to find the equation of a plane when three points are given on it right so we have these two equations 3a um, minus b plus c is equal to 0 and here we have 2a plus c is equal to 0 so our aim is to get two equations in a b c right so here we have three variables a b c and now uh, what we will do here uh, we'll try to uh, eliminate uh, or uh, we'll try to express these three quantities a b c in terms of uh, some uh, common scalar right so now from uh, this equation we can write 2a is equal to minus c right c 2a is equal to minus c now uh, here we can introduce uh, some scalar right so some real number or some scalar say lambda right and lambda is some scalar so 2a is equal to minus c is equal to lambda so now uh, if we analyze this uh, uh, equation uh, we get 2a is equal to lambda right so a is now equal to lambda over 2 and from here we have uh, minus c is equal to lambda so c is equal to minus lambda right so we are, uh, what we have got we have got a as lambda over 2 and c as a minus lambda right and now uh, substitute this value of a and c which are in terms of lambda in this equation right because uh, we wish to get the value of b also in terms of uh, lambda right so we have 3a so 3a is 3 lambda over 2 then we have minus b and then we have uh, uh, c for c we have minus lambda if that is equal to 0 so now we can write b is equal to 3 lambda by 2 minus lambda that is uh, uh, lambda over 2 right so here we have b is equal to lambda over 2 so viewers uh, once we have got the values of a b c in terms of some scalar uh, lambda we can substitute these values in this equation right that is in equation number 2 so now uh, this equation number uh, 2 implies when we substitute a b and c we have for a we have uh, 
uh, lambda over 2 x minus 2 b is uh, uh, lambda over 2 we have y minus uh, 1 and then we have c for c we have minus lambda and here we have z minus 0 is equal to 0 right okay so now uh, we can uh, divide or we can eliminate this lambda throughout because lambda is some scalar and this is not equal to 0 and we can also multiply this equation by uh, 2 right so this two will get rid of this 2 here and here and here we'll multiply this number by 2 so we have x minus 2 then we have y minus 1 then here we have minus 2z is equal to 0 right so now we can rearrange it so we have x plus y minus 2z and here we have minus 2 and minus 1 that is minus 3 is equal to 0 right so viewers uh, the equation of uh, this plane which passes through these three points non-collinear points is given by uh, this equation that is x plus y minus 2z minus 3 is equal to 0 now if we wish to uh, express this cartesian equation in vector form we can write it as r dot i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap is equal to 3 right so this is the vector form and this is the cartesian form and the coefficients of x y z are given by 1 1 and minus 2 right so here we have 1 here we have 1 and minus 2 and these numbers 1 1 and minus 2 are the drs of the normal vector right okay so this is how uh, we solve this important and conceptual problem